Welcome back folks to another video review and right now I am checking out the Disney Store Elite Series R2-D2 from Star Wars The Force Awakens. Now I just did the Kylo Ren review um, the, for the Kylo Ren uh, Elite Series figure review and I wasn't too pleased with it so you know we'll see how the R2-D2 comes right off the bat if you watch the video. I had complaints about the packaging and removing the figure from the packaging um, and then the joints and the lightsaber and everything so you know, it it was a pretty sad excuse for a figure, I hate to say it, as compared to, you know, what Hasbro was bringing us with the Black Series figures, that you would think if it's Hasbro, that's going to be a cheap $20 child's toy plaything. And then when you come to the Disney, official Disney store, Star Wars merchandise, Elite Series brand name, uh, die cast figure, that, you know, we should have some quality to it. I don't know if it's because it was a human character that the quality wasn't there. R2-D2 looks pretty decent from outside of the packaging. Um, and yeah, let's get right to it and take a look. So we do see R2-D2 in the big window box display. Pretty large packaging for what we get for R2. Um, Kylo Ren kind of makes sense because he kind of filled up the whole window. This packaging is kind of unnecessary. Granted, we saw the same thing happen with the Hasbro figures. And Disney isn't going to make 10 different styles and sizes of boxes for the different size figures. So on one hand, yeah, it makes sense from a business standpoint. From a, I don't even want to say logical, but just from a conservative resource saving standpoint um yeah this is kind of a waste but anyway so we have the disney store logo the star wars elite series and die cast right there and on the back we have a little description of it if you want to pause to read that there we go and without further ado let's get him out of his packaging and take a closer look at r2d2 here we have R2 out of his packaging, and I will say right off the bat, again, like I did with Kylo Ren, the packaging is excessive, there are too many unneeded wires, it wasn't as difficult to get R2 out, I did it in maybe 2 or 3 minutes as opposed to 15 minutes it seemed like with Kylo Ren, but they do not need that many wires. Something I also noticed right off the bat, the base. I know I mentioned it in the Kylo Ren review that the base is the same for R2 as well. But, well, for one, why do we need a base? I mean, he stands perfect, whether, you know, he's in this angle or, you know, standing straight up. And not only that, we see the little peg holder placement, yet no peg hole on any of his three legs. And they even made a special little compartment for it in the packaging because of the way the <clears throat> R2 figure sits. They even made a special compartment or portion of the packaging for the base because of the way R2 sits in the packaging. But they don't need the base. That is <laughs> ridiculous. I just find that a complete laziness by Disney. You know, I'm I'm sorry if, you know, you don't like my um, distaste for the style of the packaging and what's included, but Come on, instead of wasting time on all that and just throwing in the same thing, you know, give us a little bit something extra for R2 or, or another figure. I don't know, but yeah. Um. Anyway, so let's take a look at R2. And you know what? I love this figure. I I mean, it's a great size. It's I'm not sure what the scale is on these Elite Series figures because I don't... Uh, actually, I do remember R2 from the Black Series 6-inch line not being this big. He was smaller. Now, I don't have a Black Series R2 to compare. I might take a look online to see the size difference. But, you know, this is a great size. He is really heavy, which is pretty cool. So he's almost like a paperweight. Um, you can tell with this figure, at least, that it seems like there's a lot more quality. And, you know, it's worth the price tag you're paying. Um, and, you know... If, if I'm assuming that these were $20, if I remember, I'm not sure if they were. There's no price tag on these guys, on the boxes. But, you know, for 20 bucks, this is worth it, in my opinion. I mean, I'm really happy with it. I like the colors. I like the paint apps. Um, just one minor complaint, which I'll get into in a moment, for the figure itself. But, you know, overall, it's, it's a pretty good figure. Um, let me go ahead and put the legs up and bring him a little bit closer, and I'll get a close up on the body as well in the head so you know we have a nice um 
silver head that we see you know we saw him in the movies with then really nice blue all throughout it looks like the blue does match as well so they did a good job i know it may not make sense you know how they can do different blue paints for you know the head to the body but you know you'd be surprised we have seen that before and here it all matches which is really good um it does have the white-ish body, so to speak, but you can tell they added some dirtiness to it, even on the head. There's a little bit of dirt and scruff, and you know you can tell he's been through battles and everything, as C-3PO describes in A New Hope. But, you know, everything is very well painted. I like the attention to detail. They made sure to get that a little bit more silver than the head. They got the red and the blacks here are nice. Um, what else do we have back here? Another red for the eyes and whatnot. We have a little bit of orange here. Throughout the body, we have some more blue and silver paint apps all throughout. The black on the bottom where the wheels would be. And yeah, it, overall, it's a really good figure. I'm actually surprised compared to what I saw with Kylo Ren. Um, and you know, unfortunately, I just don't collect these small scale figures anymore. So it's kind of out of place. But this is something where I would love to keep at like my office desk. And you know, keep it there as a little statue. I know... I'm not sure if I ever did a review for it, but I have the gentle giant Yoda from Empire Strikes Back, and he's a good size, and I would keep him at my college dorm desk for all four years. He would be my little um, guardian of the force when I was there, and R2 would be something pretty cool to have as well on my uh, work desk now. But yeah, so let me, um, let's get into the joints, I guess, so to speak. We do have the head that he goes side to side, and I believe he goes all the way around, so that's really good. Let me get that zoomed out a little bit. Um, so yeah, no worries about, you know, having to twist him all the way back around. I think with the Black Series, when you would twist the head, the leg, the middle leg would come up. I don't think that is the case, no, um, because I did see what the leg does, so we'll get into that soon. The legs on the side go all the way around as well, which is really nice to have that mobility, even though, you know, you're never going to have R2 sitting like this as well. And he does, you know, he can cast the perfect angle to, you know, have his rolling feature, move the head a little bit to the side and everything. So that's pretty cool. Now, the interesting thing, oh, and I'm sorry, with the feet as well, they go back and forth, which is just what R2 does. So nothing um, extra needed there or nothing out of the ordinary. The interesting thing with the middle leg, which I'm not upset about it, but I'm also not really happy the way they did it um, to if you want this leg to disappear as opposed to the black series head twisting around and moving this up with this one you just push it up and he pops into place and he can still stand just fine without it so that is a really cool feature as well obviously you can't get him like leaning too much or you kind of can um, but you know that's a really cool feature and you know he fits in nicely they made a nice little socket for him there now, what is somewhat of a problem, and I guess a complaint if you want to car categorize it as, um, I thought, oh, actually now it works. See what happened earlier when I pushed this in, and I pushed this, he, the leg didn't pop out. It got stuck in there, so I had to pull it out. Um, maybe you just have to play around with it to get it working, but complaint taken back. That is really cool that they are able to pop it back out. But I do have somewhat of a complaint. Um, if you know you're posing it like this, which it's kind of a worthless complaint. It's just something that I noticed that you know I have no other word to describe it other than a complaint. Um, if you are posing it, you know, or playing around with it, if you have kids or anything, the front end of it will you know push in like that. So it's kind of you know unfortunate, but again, not a big deal, especially for me if I'm going to have him as a desk ornament, so to speak. Um, so I won't have any worries about playing around with him and all that. But you know, like I said, he poses very well. I guess the only wish I would have had is maybe some of these compartments would open or maybe he'd have something a little bit extra. Granted, I know it's die cast, it's heavy, it's a pretty good weight and metal and all that. Fantastic paint applications. That's just something I kind of wish for as an addition, maybe like an accessory or whatnot, because other than the lightsaber and Kylo Ren and other figures that might have blasters, we don't really have accessories with these. But even then, this is, it's great how it is. You know, I love it. Um, I will definitely be happy having this, you know, around. And that is about it. So if you have any questions or comments about it or anything you'd like to share, please feel free to leave them below. Um, and with that, thank you for watching again. Be sure to subscribe and follow all my pages. And until next time, see you all later.